Today's verdict marked a dramatic fall for Bill Cosby. Greg Argos is live in Norristown with what's next for the now convicted felon. Greg. And yes, Bill Cosby could spend some 30 years behind bars. That likely will mean the comedian could spend the rest of his life in prison. But the exact length of his prison sentence won't be determined for at least another few weeks. So until then, he's free to remain home. America's dad is now a convicted felon. Comedian Bill Cosby waving to supporters as he left the Montgomery County Courthouse. This after hearing the jury apply the same word to all three aggravated sexual assault charges. Guilty. District Attorney Kevin Steele wishing the 80-year-old left in cuffs and in the custody of county deputies. Speaking to the judge after the conviction, Steele calling the multimillionaire a flight risk, saying he has access to a private jet. From his seat rose Cosby, and in a rare outburst cursed at the DA, denying he had a plane, the judge allowing Cosby to return home before sentencing. And he did just that. Cosby and his entourage returned to his house around 3.30 this afternoon. The comedian will enjoy the comforts of his Elkins Park mansion with one addition, a bracelet wrapped around his ankle, closely being monitored by the courts. His sprawling estate, the very place where a jury concluded he drugged and sexually assaulted Andrea Constand some 14 years ago. Now a waiting room of sorts before the famed comedian is formally sentenced. Now Cosby will be sentenced between 60 and 90 days from today. He'll also undergo an assessment to determine whether or not he is a sexual violent predator. That is a state mandated assessment that the comedian will undergo. Now Tom Mesero, Cosby's attorney, says he will fight and appeal today's conviction. I'm live here at the Montgomery County Courthouse, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.